How to perform probe cleaning, maintenance, and storage. Membranes usually last three to six months. Please do not change your membrane when you first receive your Hemox analyzer. It is a fresh membrane. How you know your membrane is going bad. Fill your cuvette with distilled water and make sure that your stir bar is in and stirring. Make sure that you have your switch turned to air and that your air is on. After about 30 minutes, your temperature should have stabilized at 37 degrees Celsius. Now turn to PO2 and make sure that that is stabilized as well. This is an example of a PO2 jumping or unstable. Do not remove the oxygen probe from the cuvette. In fact, it is better and easier to do while your probe is still in the cuvette. Just be careful not to touch or hit the back of the probe, the brown part that is sticking out of the cuvette. First, open the hasp holding the cuvette in. Carefully lift the cuvette out and tilt it 45 degrees. Tap the corner a few times just like this. Do not hit or bump the brown part of the probe. Give the probe a few seconds to stabilize. It should stabilize and move slowly like this. Place the cuvette back in the heating block, close the hasp, and you're done! If you're still having issues with your probe, or your probe no longer goes down to 1.0 when fully saturated in nitrogen, you may need to change your membrane. Open lid. First, unplug the oxygen probe. Lift the cuvette out of the slot. Drain the water in the cuvette. Remove the probe. The o-ring may get stuck. Pull it out with a q-tip or a small screwdriver. Never touch the tip of the membrane. There are three o-rings for your oxygen electrode. The black one goes on the tip of the oxygen electrode. The larger of the silicone o-rings seals the outside of the membrane jacket. The smallest of the silicone o-rings is the inner seal for the membrane jacket. Before removing the membrane jacket, roll back the larger silicone o-ring. Unscrew the membrane from the probe. Only use distilled or DI water to clean the probe. Never get water in this area. Clean the tip with water. Thoroughly dry off the probe. Fill up the membrane to the top of the indent shown here. Using your electrolyte solution, put three drops in. You will always get an air bubble trapped at the tip of the membrane. Using your fingernail, tap the top of the membrane jacket until you dislodge all the bubbles as shown in the video. Slowly insert the probe, making sure that there are no air bubbles on the tip. Screw the membrane onto the probe and make sure the solution does not overflow. Dry off the probe. Never leave water on the probe. Place the black o-ring around the tip of the membrane jacket, making sure not to touch the membrane with your fingertips. Roll the red silicone o-ring forward until it gets into the groove of the back of the silicone jacket. Insert the probe into your cuvette, making sure you turn slowly as you push it in. Make sure that you do not bunch up the o-rings. That will cause a leak. Fill your cuvette with distilled water above the temperature probe. Put the cuvette back in the Hemox. Close lid. We now need to exercise the membrane. You will need to repeat these steps three times in order to get your probe to function properly. Step 1. Fully oxygenate your distilled or DI water and adjust your PO2 high to a little above 148. Switch to air and oxygenate for 20 minutes. While you're waiting, make sure the temperature gets to 37 degrees Celsius. Turn the selector switch to PO2. After 20 minutes, adjust the PO2 high to a little above 148. Step 2. Fully deoxygenate your distilled or DI water sample and adjust the PO2 low to 00.8. Switch from air to nitrogen and deoxygenate for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, adjust the PO2 low to 00.8. Now go back and repeat steps 1 and 2 two more times. How to store your oxygen probe for a long period of time. There are three types of storage. One day through one week storage. Drain the cuvette and make sure there's nothing in it. Then add one drop of cuvette cleaning solution. Then fill the cuvette with distilled or DI water all the way to the top of the cuvette and make sure you leave off the cap. One week to one month storage. Fill the cuvette up to the bottom of the oxygen probe. Put the stopper back on and put the cuvette back in the Hemox. One month or longer storage. First, unplug the oxygen probe. Unscrew the membrane from the probe. Only use distilled or DI water to clean the probe. Never get water in this area. Clean the tip with water. Thoroughly dry off the probe. With a dry probe, 
Put the probe storage cap on and tighten. You may not have to always change the membrane. You can clean the membrane with alcohol and a soft Q-tip. Never put alcohol in the cuvette. It will craze it, making it useless. Always remove the probe first. To quickly clean your probe, you can use a soft Q-tip and some alcohol. Gently rub the tip and turn the probe as you clean. Put your O-ring back on, insert the probe into the cuvette, fill the cuvette with distilled or DI water, and you're done. Your probe may be acting erratic because the membrane has no electrolyte solution left in it. If this happens, all you have to do is unscrew the membrane and refill it with electrolyte solution. How to clean a dirty probe if everything else fails to give you good results. Unscrew the membrane from the probe. Only use distilled or DI water to clean the probe. Never get water in this area. Clean the tip with water. Thoroughly dry off the probe. On a flat surface, lightly press down on the abrasive pad. Rub in a circular motion, letting the abrasive do most of the work. On a slight angle, lightly round the edges, rotating as you rub. Only use distilled or DI water to clean the probe. Never get water in this area. Clean the tip with water. Thoroughly dry off the probe. Now repeat the steps for replacing a new membrane.